birthday episode. We're live. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Oh, this is good, right? Because then you could see. Okay, guys, you see in the background? Happy birthday. Well, it's backwards, but maybe it's not backwards to them. It's backwards to us. We This happened a year ago, too. Right. Mm -hmm. We couldn't figure out if it was backwards, but they'll tell us. Okay. Anyway, guys, good Hi. morning. Birthday girl's here. Her birthday was yesterday. Yay. We didn't get to celebrate, so we're celebrating today. Yeah. And um, we're super, super excited. Alana's here. I'm excited, too. She's this excited because she's like, I got birthday money. I'm gonna I go did get shopping. some birthday money. <laughs> I got a Do You Knit gift card. <laughs> So I have to decide what to buy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys will help me. Yeah, because we could show you a lot of new stuff. <laughs> and um, we're a little quiet this morning, but we have one more week. And next week, Stephen West. That's right. 10-10 for his 10th anniversary. <laughs> right. He's coming. Um, yeah, he's coming. So the book should be coming. But um, again, I'm going to tell everybody, if you're taking a class... You have okay, and if you signed up for the book signing, you have to sign up. But we're closed on the book signing because we already have twenty people. Oh, really? Coming plus the class, so the book signing is closed. Okay, so all the books that are going to be here are for each person that has signed up or is taking a class. We will figure that out when the books come. We're going to put them in bags for everybody with their names. They have to pay for them, of course, and then after that, we'll know what we can sell okay we are getting over 80 bucks i'm gonna like, get one is there enough too. for me to get yeah. one okay mm -hmm. right but that's how i'm doing it because i didn't want people to miss out yeah yeah so we have like 10 people i think for friday 17 for thursday in the classes so that's 27 and then we have 20 at least book signing cool so it is going to be a little nuts in here but i'm not taking any more people in to the book signing Okay. That's it. We can't. We what if can't. they bring their own book for some reason? If they have their I own. I just can't. It's fit not it. about the books. It's, it's also about, about the, the space in here, too, because okay. we're going to have two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's it. The book signing's closed. closed. If you want to take the class on Friday, you can take the class on Friday and get your book signed with oh. Stephen. You know, but it's also Stephen, um, the mystery knit along is starting this Friday. Yeah. Alana and Karen are hosting a knit. A little knit along party. Cast on day. Cast, cast on, on day with us. on Friday. So the girls they can go live and they can oh. show their casting on. Yeah, I hope and, a lot of people come. Yeah. So maybe hope, yeah. yeah. So they're gonna be casting on and um Steven will be here for clue two. Right. On that Friday, which will be awesome. So we can knit a little with Steven, clue yeah. two. Um I'm gonna see what's gonna go on Thursday. If we could do a knit night, I don't know. Depending on when Steven's coming. I don't know. So, fun. so that's just going to be up in the air. But tonight we're having a knit night because it's a Wednesday. We're either trying Wednesday or Thursday. And Kelly's going to be here tonight. Nice. Yeah. And um, so we have that. We posted that on Instagram. And um, that's good details. I think I'm, you know, yeah. I'm on it because you know what? I was organized. Um, Alana and I and some of the girls here celebrated Rosh Hashanah for the Jewish New Year. We will be closed next Wednesday. It's Yom Kippur. Oh, yeah. So we will be closed. Um, and then Tuesday morning, I'm going to be in a little bit later, but we're going to figure out how we're going to set the table up, the tables on Tuesday. I'm bringing some banquet tables in. We're also having Yarn Habits trunk show while Steven's here. Oh, It's going to be like a madhouse. And we have a trunk show this weekend yes, as well. Yes, Charmed Yarns, Lindsay. Yeah. It's her first trunk show. So she'll be here this Saturday. She's lovely. She's a customer yeah, of ours. Yeah, she's really we, sweet. She's and friend. she asked if she could trunk show, and I said, sure. Let's yeah. see. How, you know, because we love to host all the indie dyer trunk shows. She so. made a tenya with her yarn. Oh, it she came did, out right? so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her yarn is pretty. Pretty. So um, we hope you join us this Saturday and, you know, come meet Lindsay if you haven't met her from Charmed Yarns and see her beautiful yarns. She's local. So that'll be Saturday. She's local. And um, Okay, Rebecca's saying, oh my goodness, what is the sweater behind you? Well, well glad you asked. Okay. Maybe I could move it closer. Yeah, should I do it like this? Yeah. Okay. This one we're asking because yes. I don't know if you could see this one, but yeah. So this okay. is Love Notes. Love Notes sweater. And this by, is Kimberly's. Yeah, Kimberly McElinden mm -hmm. knit it. And she used Ching Fiber. Um, four skeins in total, two like a skinny base and two of a mohair. But we have so much gorgeous yarns in here that have come in. We got cashmerinos that came in. We have mohairs here. Actually, it only takes four skeins. And I posted one yesterday, a love notes. One of my customers use it, use the um, merino linen. Yeah. And use the hedgehog mohair with it is gorgeous. 
And we posted some kits and um, it's all good. So this is the Love Note sweater and this is Kimberly's version and she did balloon sleeves. Yeah. On her Ravelry page, Fiber Lover is Kimberly's Ravelry name. She tells you how to de decrease and get that get that sleeve. Now, this sleeve happens to be in all the sweaters this year. Yeah. Because I went on Madewell's website, all their sweaters have balloon sleeves. All of them. That's the so, hot shape. The hot shape, guys. Yeah. So if you're making one of these sweaters balloon, you just do a fast knit two together and you decrease on that last row and that easy. gives you a balloon sleeve. Mm -hmm. So Kimberly has it on her notes on Ravelry. So Frank Kimberly, fiber lover, and she'll even answer any of your questions. She's so, so nice. That's the love notes. Sweater. That's the love note. That's the love and note. We love, we love Kimberly. Yeah. So <laughs> we're like, okay. So anyway, guys, of course you can ask us anything. Except certain things. That's the good thing about, about, uh, live. about live. Because you guys are watching us. Hopefully you're knitting and watching us. Yeah. It's and like you're your home, group, your kids yeah. are in school. And, um, or you're at work, you're at playing work. hooky. Mm -hmm. And you're on your <laughs> phone and your boss is talking to you, but you're watching us. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it. guys, so we could roll. So how was your holiday? Was it, it good? Was great. It was great. Yeah, it was Busy good. cooking. You cooked for a lot too, right? Yeah, we had 20 people, including mm -hmm. the kids mm -hmm. uh, who don't eat. But <laughs> so I had brisket. So was it 20 adults or 17 adults and the three kids? Or No, because no? there were a lot oh, more, more kids. kids. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, well, no, I guess not a lot. There were five little kids, and then there were some big kids. Okay. Like, well, they were like 18. Now. All right, but you had adults. <laughs> Those are adults. Yeah, so, so I made um, an eight-pound brisket, and I made five pounds of chicken thighs, and wow. I did uh, all the sides. Mm -hmm. I made the tzimis, which is carrots with honey. And you I put made, raisins in it? No, I do it real simple. Likes raisins. I don't knows. even. I, I didn't even Can really do myself. it right because mm -hmm. it's supposed to be mushy, but I didn't mm -hmm. think people like mushy, so mine was kind of like, not crunchy, but in between, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and I used the baby carrots, and I did a mix of maple syrup and honey because mm, I had so it. So sweet. Yeah, it was good. Good. The kids eat it. Do they like that? They liked it. Oh, yeah. that was good. And I did the roasted vegetables and roasted potatoes, and I made quinoa. We have a lot of gluten-free people, so mm -hmm. I made it kind of gluten-free. So you cook them for days, like before to prep, or you yeah. just did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh my God. Uh, so that was Sunday because I wanted to do it kind of like a mix, like Lena's birthday. Right. Slash Lena Rosh turned Shana. three. She turned Her three. Her baby's three. My baby's three. She's not a baby anymore. Oh. She's a mm -hmm. big, big kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Monday and Tuesday we went to synagogue. Uh, then my family was in town, so we were right. hanging out with them. them. Mm -hmm. And they watch. My aunt, my cousin, they were my saying, we watch you, and Harriet, and cousin <laughs> hi, and Harriet. Susan, hi. <laughs> Got to hang out with them, and the kids were all playing together, so that uh -huh. was nice. Oh, that was good. So yeah. you had a busy weekend. For sure. Were you able to celebrate your birthday, like yesterday? Or yeah. You just like, yeah. Sort yeah, of. Whatever. <laughs> Danny, give me money. It's all good. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Oh, my God. We had company. I was here Sunday, and the holiday started Sunday night, but Monday I had. We were only six people. But the week before, I made my soup. I made my brisket um, so, uh, so Monday morning. Everything was Monday morning. So I had people Monday night, six. So it was just my family and, and the baby. But um, it was exhausting. I just don't want to cook anymore. I feel like it's not worth it. Mm. Like you have to be dinner. Like, like it's just so much prepping. Yeah. And then in an hour, it's like done. Yeah. Like you prep this for like a week and you're, you know, like I... We had like a probably a six or a seven pound brisket. I don't even know. I also made stuffed cabbage. Um, we had chopped liver. I had I made soup a week ago. Then in the morning I had to make more matzo balls. Like I was just, I was exhausted. But they went to synagogue. It was nice and quiet. <laughs> and I cast it on a few things, and I just got my stuff together. And it was like, I like this. It's quiet. Yeah. So it was nice. Monday morning. I but just, who went to synagogue? Marissa, the baby, Fred. Really? They well, went. what did Elle do? She went um, to she the... had a babysitter. Oh. So at her house, because they went in Livingston, because Marissa lives close to Livingston. So Fred and Amanda, they went to Livingston. Got it. They went up that way, and then Amanda came back down with them and helped with the baby, and so we just like yeah. Cool. It was exhausting. And then Marissa stayed over Monday night. Let's say, let's say Wednesday, and then she stayed over last night. That baby is like. Busy. Busy. She's a busy <laughs> girl. She's into everything. Yeah. She's a crybaby. <laughs> um, and last night she just overate, and then all of a sudden Marissa puts her in the crib, and, she's, and the baby goes, Bleh. 
and I was like, ah. Rosa goes, I just want to take a shower. I go, I'm taking a shower until we clean her up. Aww. And then we had to put her back in the tub, and then we were doing laundry. But thank God she did not get the sheets. She did not get the oh, bumper. It just was all she, on you she guys. She drags a blanket around. She got her blanket. You know, like that blanket with the with the satin edge. Uh -huh. She loves little giraffe blankets, they're called the company. <laughs> and um, so that was it. Laundry last night was just, it didn't stop. The laundry just kept going. And now I'm exhausted. Been I'm there. exhausted. She stayed over this morning and then the baby had music this morning. Oh. Though in the, their pajamas, they left. And I just helped her pack up the car. I went, Bye. Bye. And then I turned around and I went, look at my house. <laughs> and I just went like through the house and just organized it. Oh, because, really? Because we're oh, sell you're selling I'm it. I'm selling my house. Oh, right. So if a realtor texts me later and says, I want to show your house. Gotta be ready to go. I gotta be ready. But there's a baby's pottery barn chair with right. her name on it. I mean I like... organized. You know why? Yeah. Sorry guys, it's my house. And then last night or earlier in the day, we get a text from the realtor. And we was, you know, I had Marissa, the baby. I still had, we were going to have dinner like at 5 o'clock. Get a text. Oh, we want to show your house at 5 o'clock. I went, my husband goes, oh, no, you're not. Yeah, that's not This possible. is the holiday. This is 5 o'clock. And I write back at 2.30 and go, sorry, no. Yeah. We have company. Yeah. And it's the holiday. And I'm not in the middle of showing. And then Marissa goes, well, I'll go home, Mommy. I'm like, you're not going home. Like, I'm sorry, guys. So if you want to see my house, you can see it today. Or if you want, go on the internet. You can see it there, too. Yeah, there's like a walkthrough. There's a video walkthrough. So anyway, that's our weekend. And next week, like we said, is Yom Kippur. And um, so that's Tuesday. We're going to close at 2. Oh. So that's why I got to get the store prepped Tuesday. Yeah, like, I have yeah. a haircut in the morning. I'm going to bring stuff in this weekend, like banquet tables, and then right. figure it out on Tuesday how to set up in here. It's fine. We got it. And I might need more chairs from people. So I got it. I know Carolyn and Kimberly said they had more folding chairs. Oh, I'll bring some when I come yeah. on Friday. So yeah, anyway. I have good ones. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. So okay. should we no show new yarn? So yesterday, if you saw the girls, they were live. Kimberly and um, Carolyn, they were live. And oh, I missed them. Oh well, my god, it's still up there. All right, I'm gonna go back and watch. Okay, you could watch it. I mean, it's all right here, too. What but I like seeing them come Alana. taken out of the Oh box. my god. How do I even? Oh my god. <laughs> Yarn! Hedgehog! Hedgehog. Aaron! <laughs> Can't wait. Oh my god. This is what I, the palette that I love. These new colors. Why like, does this dog wake up when I'm like podcasting? She loves to podcast. She likes to podcast. These mm -hmm. are the colors. They're like grayed out kind of. I love oh, this palette colors. of colors. Mm -hmm. This would be a great slumber shawl. Some yes, so we have a lot of slump, slumber shawls. We were mm -hmm. all in slumber shawls last week. Our pictures are still up on Instagram. The girls were showing theirs yesterday. Um, so we just have, because Stephen West, we have so much yarn here for Stephen. I was getting a little nervous that there wasn't enough, but I think there's enough, right? I think we're good. I think we're good, Stephen, so don't worry about it. So we have enough yarn for you. So look at these colors. These are awesome. And um, just like amazing. This is my favorite color. Wait, which is my favorite? That. This. That. I yeah. love this. Ozone. Okay. We also got cashmerino in yesterday. Hedgehog's cashmerino, which you can hold instead of a mohair. Some people don't like mohair. They're allergic to mohair. Right? It's just too itchy or something. Jody, this one. Jody's saying, what is that rusty one? Isn't that is beautiful? this the one? Bridget. Bridget. Yeah, well, like, Critter mm -hmm. doesn't like mohair. Mm -hmm. She so likes cashmere. Cashmere. So here Use I brought cashmere. all the colors over here. Look at this color. Oh, my God. So good. Hello. And we got some potlucks. <laughs> potluck, potlucks, cashmere, cash hedgehog. Potluck. Right. And these are 330 yards, but you can hold it. You know, you could double it up. Totally. Totally. Because it's like a lace weight. Mm -hmm. So you can hold it with a skinny base. You can just hold it. And if you don't want to use mohair, or you could do something in this, right? What could be wrong in a cashmere sweater? You could do your hat Dana for the mm -hmm. hat Dana meetup if you hold it double, I yeah. bet. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, these are so good. So we were also saying, Lina Magazine, the issue on the cover, right? The sweater, the woodbine, is done in Aran weight. And the lace panel is done with mohair and the Aran. But like we said, if you're allergic to the mohair, you don't like mohair, you can hold this, right? Totally. You could totally do your sweater in this. And mm -hmm. we have so much. We had 10 of 15 colors of the Aran. So we have sweater quantity of Aran for everybody. That's great. And this sweater is just 
beautiful. I want a sweater like Isn't this. Isn't that beautiful? Serengeti. You could do that. Why can't you do that? I want to. She can do this braid. That's and then you pick that. that oh, you pick the sleeves up sideways. You do your lace panel first. Yeah, I think it's a fun pattern because mm -hmm. it's, it's done like on an eight boring. or nine needle. So you can do that. And um, we got restock of Lina magazine. We have like four or five copies left. So if you want that magazine, we can ship it to you, right? It's so good. It's really, and this is our last issue, guys. Yeah. So we had 20 gone. We ordered another 10. We have like, I think three or four. And um, so that's, that's, that's good that. stuff. That's good. And then the bags, these bags are selling out, right? That's right. Yeah, well, you bought two. I bought two. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not sorry. Mm -hmm. and they and say hashtag do you knit hashtag do you knit and customers are walking in because we're leaving stuff i noticed lately if i leave stuff in front of that checkout counter they buy gonna it buy it so we piled them on a little glass table in front of the checkout counter and we're not worried because steven's coming we're gonna sell it all next week right each of these comes with a handmade tassel oh yeah look at this they're so fun look how cute is this good and they snap they hook on and off yeah. They're so on the could, zipper ring. They're the so zipper they, pull. Mm -hmm. You could even use it as, on your knitting. Right. You could, you could use put them it on like your a bags, stitch right? marker. Uh -huh. This so. one has birds. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to see, but it has little gold flecks in it. You can't see it. And you could picture. fit, Kimberly and I last week, you could fit like six or seven skeins of yarn in there. I bet. They're very deep. See, like once that they stand right up. That paper company. Look. So once they stand up, they're yeah. really big. The bottom opens, you know. And it sits flat, which is awesome. See the inside? And here. Look, right, the bottom look. sits flat. Yep. It opens up mm -hmm. big. Here's my other one. I had to take the one that had Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, you I'm did. I'm addicted to Alice in I Wonderland. But, That's a good one. Yeah, my whip is hanging out, but we'll show that afterwards. Right? Yeah, well, let's let's do it. Oh, we you want to show it. your shawl that you're going to do? Oh, okay, so with Stephen Cumming. Oh my God, I'm addicted to the shawl. It's called... West Ford's Wanderer, sorry, Alana. And if you want, if you don't get his book yet, like I said, our books are on, are shipped on Saturday. They're FedEx. Maybe they'll come today. Ooh, I hope so. So this shawl is, you can buy the whole book on Ravelry. Right. Do the whole download, put it in your library. But there'll also be um, a download code in the book. Yeah. West Knits, Best Knits 3. So I'm addicted. You ready? The bottom you do first. So... This bottom part, you do first, and you fade it. And then you pick up? Yeah, look, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? Look, I'm just gonna go show you that. You do that. So I saw somebody, Stephen reposted somebody yesterday on Instagram. Okay, they did, oh God, right, Alana? How did I have this? Yeah. You ready? And you're marling it. I need to do this. I like, these that. are my colors, right? Like, the whole bottom is marled. See? Wait, I'll hold this first like this. Look. And then the oh, top is like a slumber shawl. Right. It's juicy. I, I, that's the first thing I said. Look at this. That's I have juicy. to do it. And they're marled. So I don't know what gets held with this, but. This, I think you just play. I don't know. But that woman's on Instagram. I followed. Stephen reposted it yesterday. So that's cast on itis. I also, Stephen's, um. Knit along. Okay, so Stephen agreed that I need to use jelly. Yes. Well, sorry, not sorry. I think it was sorry, not sorry. Okay. With UFO. With UFO. So, if you want, right, I can pull it. Sorry, not sorry. Do we have a UFO? Yeah, because you had it this morning. Here. This. Oh, yeah. How cool, right? That's right. So, this is what my mystery is going to be in. Yay! And um, I can't wait. All oh, my yarn is wound. My and yarn's home, but I'm bringing it Friday to cast on. It's black and white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys did, like, different. You didn't do I'm bright. I just did bright, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun to just see how the pattern looks without the colors. Mm -hmm. I sometimes. can't wait to see. Like, we don't know what it is. Right, that's mystery. the thing. It's hard and to it's pick colors. And it's four weeks. And since I'm, like, sweatered out, okay, should I show my sweater? Oh, yeah, I can't believe nobody mentioned it. Okay, so if you saw my Instagram yesterday, here's my Soldatna crop. No. Okay. Stone crop. Stone crop. Oh, God. Again, I did it. Stone crop. Are you Sorry, guys. It Soldatna? Oh, my God. Because my Soldatna is right over oh. here. Stone crop by Andrea Mowry. Ooh, it's nice so lady. beautiful. Unbelievable. So here, Look at those bobbles. You did bobbles. it. Look at bobbles. So, my problem was I thought when I was knitting it, 
the bobbles were falling in. You know, like, uh, no, no, they're popped out. See, they're great. my boobs are making them pop out. Right? <laughs> but I think once you put it on, they're popping out. They're great. They look um, awesome. So what happened was every time I was knitting them, they were falling in and I go, maybe I'm doing the bobbles wrong. I wasn't like no. you have to use a crochet hook. You have to wrap it and, you know, crochet a few stitches with it and knit it when you come back to it. And but some other people were doing different bobbles. They were knitting the bobbles and, and knitting in knitting in the back and turning their their project around. Oh, yeah. You could go knit back and forth, I think. Yeah, that's another way to do. Bobbles. I think that was crazy when you're in the round. That would be really hard. I don't know. You have to sweat. You have to turn. That was a mu too much for me. Oh, and yeah. everything matches. Wow, I lined up. Yeah, it does. Look, I lined up. Look, I could just keep my hands like this forever. There you but go. I lined up. Okay. So Everybody's giving lots of compliments about Thank your you. So Stone Crop Pullover, we have the yarn if you want to use it. And I use the original colors that Andrea Mowry used. Oh, yeah. Cold Comfort is the spin cycle. And we do have it in stock. And this is. Um, what was the name Magpie of Magpie Domestic Fingering. Yes. Mm-hmm. In the, in the Navy, it's called. Right, right, right. In the Navy. And this was the original, so I had to do it. And I blocked it. And my blocking is pretty good. But what, ha what I do is after I block it, I knew it was really wet. I step on towels to get all the moisture as much as I can. And then I wanted to wear it. So this was all Monday while they're in synagogue. I'm busy, guys. I'm doing everything I wanted to do. It's just a quiet house, and the house smelled good, and I'm I'm on. I'm taking care of me. Yeah, self care. Self care, and I put a video up of soaking. Oh. Yeah, I put that up on Instagram, and um. Oh, on yours. Yes. Yeah. On mine, and then all of a sudden, you know what I do? I throw it in the dryer. For f on low for 15 minutes. So first I laid it out and. The sleeves are like really long. It won't go back. I it doesn't it take a long time before it to go back into shape. Throw it in with two towels oh. in the dryer. Dry towels? Yep. In right. Fifth because that absorbs the water. Mm -hmm. And I keep watching it on like a medium heat, like 15, 20 minutes, and it went back right into shape. And it blocked. That's my secret. I've done that since you told me that. That's mm -hmm. a good the secret. The towels. So the towels will absorb the water, but don't leave it. Watch it every 10 minutes and make sure. And I put it on a medium heat. And I have like those big monster, you know, washer dryers that sit on the, they sit on those platforms. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hate those. You do? But anyway, I don't know. Somebody's asking a question. Oh, she said it's right. She's right. It's I think, there. yeah, it's 100 degrees in Alabama. Well, tomorrow, okay, here it's supposed to be 90 today. Yeah, it's 90. And then, it's hot. It's hot today. And then tomorrow, we're going to high 60. Mm. It's supposed to be like that all weekend. So maybe we're going to get fall. So right now we have shorts on. And then tomorrow we'll be wearing sweaters. It'll be sweater weather tomorrow. It's just, maybe I can wear this tomorrow. So I have a tank top underneath. And it's not a heavy sweater. It's so nice and light. And I'm super excited. I finished it. Like, after you fit, like, Karen asked me this this morning. After you finish a sweater that you've been working on or shawl for four or five weeks, don't you, like, do you find it's, like, a letdown? No, like, I know you've said that before, but really? no. I'm I'm just so happy that I could work I'm on happy, the I'm happy, but I'm, like, I'm in a weird thing because I'm yeah. waiting for Steven. And then I was asked to do a test knit, which isn't due till November 16th. Um... It's really cool. There's this, the sweater's called the Quiet Sweater. Mm. It's top down, um, has some lace work, and it's short. Mm. And it's done in fingering weight yarn. So I agreed um, to do it, and um, I have it here, and you have to do a provisional cast on. I, I taught myself this morning the provisional cast on to knit it off, and you do it right onto the needle, your knitting needle. So then when you start with your color, you can knit right into it. Oh, that's great. I never great. did that. Did you ever do that? No. I do it with a crochet hook. Usually. Crochet hook, putting it on the needle. And then you can knit with your new color right off. Oh, that's cool. Right. And there's a YouTube video, so I taught myself that this morning. Nice. And I need 108 stitches or something. So I have that. And then this is what I'm using. I'm just going to show you the color. My test knit. My sweater's going to be in this. Pretty. This is Uncommon Thread. Oh, and we are going to be the new stockist of Uncommon Thread from the oh, UK. Oh, that's great news. We have 200 skeins of DK, and then we have Lush Fingering coming. That's what this is? No. Oh. This I just happened to buy, because 
Um, From your there stash? was the olive cardigan she had on. It was really pretty, and I don't know. So this is her skinny singles, and when I fell in love knitting with this the other day, when I swatched, I said to Uncommon Thread, can we also get your skinny base? She's like, yeah. And it's a little, I don't know why knitting it. It it was totally different than the other skinnies I was knitting with. Interesting. It looks a little thinner. Thicker. I don't know thicker? if I felt a little thicker when, yeah, when I, don't I was know. knitting I it. it was I miss thinner. because maybe it's more, I don't know, Alana. I got gauge on my four. I'm good. And I have to do the neckline on a two and a half. I'm not doing it. I'll do it on a three. Mm. You'll love this sweater. And it's knit. On the outside, you know, stockinette, but you turn it inside out. Oh, cool. And it's going to be purling, and I hate purling. We but can't show it, right? Can't show it, because um, it's called Quiet. Can't, but it is up on Instagram. Um, so, I don't know. I think you could show it, because it's on, if it's posted on Instagram, the designer posted on Instagram. I don't know. Posted I, don't, on Inst I mean, I don't want to do the wrong thing. I don't want to do the wrong thing. <laughs> it's just called Quiet. It's called Quiet, so maybe we should be quiet about mm -hmm. it. So, <laughs> but it is on Instagram. I'm just going to show it like that. You can't really see much. Can't really there. see much. It's a sweater. So look, you can see it. Right? Looks like a sweater. It looks like a sweater. It's really cool and it's short. <laughs> so I'm going to, cool. it's due August, August 11th. Look at me. I have Alzheimer's. October, November 11th. November, November 11th. November 11th. We'll see how far I can get with it. Yeah. So, um, and then, okay, guys. Hat Dana. Hat Dana. There will be a meetup. At Rhinebeck. One o'clock on the hill. One o'clock on the After hill. After the Ravelry meetup. Mm -hmm. And what time is the podcast meetup? I don't know anything about that. We have that. to find. We have to look it up. Maybe. Might also be one o'clock. I, I don't feel know. like there's a lot going on on the hill. Hill. At on the hill. So anyway, the hat Dana. And are you ready? Clinton Hill Cashmere. Pink, of course. And But I'm going to wear mine around my neck because I have no hair. Like, that would be <laughs> weird on me. So... Hey guys, you have to cast this on and come to the hill. Did right? you see the spin cycle girls made it? Yeah, and it's like she, she wears she it like the, the other DK. way. You can do yeah. um, dream state. That's what I would do. Right? So all oh, the cashmere, right? Clinton no cashmere. The new pink. I don't know if I need one or two. I, I bet you're just gonna need one. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine you're gonna need one. So all I was walking I just every six row you cable. It's so fun. It is fun. It's an easy pattern and I have to get to like a hundred and something stitches. So then you can show fun. your solidarity. Mm -hmm. And it'll be in pink. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Of course. It has to be pink. What are you knitting, Alana? I forgot. What did you finish? <laughs> well, anyway, so I finished a sweater. That was my big thing for for the new year. Yay. What's that? So I'm making my liminal shawl. Oh, the new by shawl Andrea by Andrea Mowry. I'm wow. using King Fiber. Is that DK? DK, super mm. soft DK. It's merino it's cashmere. cashmere nylon. It was, wasn't that like a unique base to us for a while? Yes. And then now you could get it right. elsewhere. Right, and we so. had this, we only have a little bit left. Yeah. Right? How many this, do you need, four? Four. Four, And this okay. is the color Hero. It's gorgeous. I know Stephen West's favorite color. A lot of is people, it? remember last year he did something oh, yeah, in it? yeah, in the Surrey. And Surrey, everybody and wanted people wanted Surrey. it. Yeah, and Drew. We, wait, and then we <laughs> had it at um, Vogue. Yes. And it was gone in two seconds. Because Drew came first right. and he bought it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our so friend. people were asking. So that's so the liminal shawl. I'm kind of in the middle of the row. So And, and I'm on a small needle. So you're oh not going to really see so it. So what size needle should it be on, though? Should uh, it be a six, seven? I think it was a... Beautiful. Let's see. I don't remember. I don't know if I even printed that page. I don't know. Go on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. Maybe a six. Okay. I don't remember Gorgeous. what I did. But Alana. anyway, so here it is. Look at the color. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> And plus, it's got the cashmere in it. It's got the cashmere in it. So this is so you it. cast on on the top middle, mm -hmm. and then you are doing rows of garter stitch. And then to keep it interesting, there are these noops. Are they bobbles? Are they the same? Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. So how do you do yours? Do you have to? So she says to do it with a crochet hook, okay. but I think that's kind of fiddly. Uh, it because made me you crazy. Means you have to grab another yes, thing. Yes, that's what I had to do through this whole sweater. Yeah, so I'm just knitting them. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm doing it right now. These are Addies. 
uh, which are kind of rounded at the point. No, just no, regular. regular Addies. Okay. I have a lot from mm -hmm. a long time ago. Right. Um, so, which are kind of rounded at the point. They're too blunt. So I need oh. to switch it. Now that you to can see pointy. it. To the pointy. Yeah, right. to the chia goo. So mm -hmm. it's pointy because you have to like go through a lot of stitches. I don't want to say because it's in the pattern, but right. it's you have to. It's a lot of finagling. Right. And so, um, so I'm going to switch to the sharper Beautiful. needle. Uh, she does have a video. Someone said just now that how to do the noops, but I didn't want yeah, to do it. Yeah, it's also the probably the, maybe it's the same video that's on the stone crop. Probably. I don't know if it's the same way because mm. I didn't do the stone crop mm -hmm. yet. But so that's that. And then there's a little brioche. Brioche. Yes, doing bobbles with knitting needles is better with sharp needles. Thanks, Jody. I know. It's good. Thanks be for better. the tips, guys. We love all this. <laughs> this is great. We got uh, tips. So then there's a little brioche. I would say that this would be a great project to learn brioche because it's just one color one brioche. Color. It's not oh. from nothing. You just have the p stitches all over. The, uh -huh. So you could start and then see how to do brioche. This could right. be a really good first brioche project. Oh, good. Um, or if you don't want to do brioche, there's no reason why you can't just knit those stitches instead and just mm. have it be like a bobbly shawl. Right. But I'm doing the brioche. It's Pretty. only like eight rows of brioche. And then I'm, I did a second bobble noop row. And now I'm almost going to do another Is brioche row. Is it seed row. stitch too on it? No seed stitch. Oh, it's okay. garter. Garter. Okay. It looks so pretty. It looks three-dimensional. I love it. Is it just that? The yarn or just the way it, it's just beautiful it's just, a lot of texture it's just texture beautiful texture gorgeous it's texture texture is the <laughs> new black what was steven saying texture is the new i don't know when did he say that new brioche new brioche texture is the, well but brioche is a texture when did he say that he was saying it at vogue he was saying something like texture is the new well, i don't know it was you know we'll the new it. hot big thing now i'm looking at that <laughs> look at that Oh my god! Oh my like looking at, I'm looking at her. I like, gotta decide what I'm gonna buy today for my birthday. Birthday, birthday party. Even though I did buy myself some Nimru's a couple weeks ago as my birthday present. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. <laughs> Meaning I wanted it, and then I just said that it was my birthday it's present because I need it. I'm I need gonna it. tell Danny. Danny's like, get whatever you want. He doesn't right? care. It's gorgeous. Oh my god! Thank what you, else? season. Happy birthday Hi, to season. me. Thank you. Wait, season. I saw you were live yesterday. What did oh, you want? I missed that too. She was on the live with them. Oh, commenting okay. with the girls yesterday. Is there something you want? Just message us, and we'll um, when we finish podcasting, we'll be able to put something together. Should we show Carolyn's sweater? Oh, it's so nice. So Alana put it on this morning. I love that you podcast during my planning periods. See, like not yes. everyone's home. People watching from work. Some people are working. <laughs> A Carolyn sweater. You put it on this morning. We sold like three sweater or four sweater quantities this weekend of the sweater. Maybe I'll make this with my this gift card. This is beautiful. Although I do already have. She some held money. Surrey with mohair, I think. That's why it feels like this. That's why it's so nice. Wait, what? Oh, your hat. My hat. Mm -hmm. I need to fix my hat. This is so beautiful. Look at this, and this is wishbone design, and um, she just used Surrey, but I don't think everybody used Surrey. People use yarn. Is it like wearing a cloud? Mm -hmm. It's better than wearing it's a cloud. Look at that. <laughs> I have the color work. It's even better than Beautiful. wearing a cloud. It's so, really nice. She did it so fast and so thick. It was it's like, so beautiful. like seven or eight, maybe an eight needle. The color work is easy. But I would think you could even do it with um, Surrey by itself. I think she held without something the mohair. I don't know. Well, because Lil, um, Wishbone's... Hers is what? Hers Suri is thicker than the Ching Suri. So mm -hmm. I think that was the idea that if, so to make it be more like the gauge. But I think if you just did Suri by itself, the Ching Suri, it would fill in. It's mm -hmm. you know, it would be yeah, more light it's DK. and airy. I think you could do it. We have a way. lot of Ching Suri. And then the wobble oh, she, gobble. It was only Suri. two for her body, she said. Yeah. Two for the body. And then and how then many colors? One, one two, two, three, three four. Four. Five. Well there's no that's that's, that's a the different same five. As this, yeah, though. four. So four colors and like two for the body. I think you could do that, Alana. Right? I want to. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to make. Oh. Or what if you do mohair doubled? Well, yeah. What if you held two strands of mohair? Or what happens if you had the mohair and the cashmerino? I think that would be a great idea. Because the fluff would... Oh my God, cashmere and mohair. Like, and remember that? you guys were going to make that carbeth? With mohair doubled. I started that. But it's really thin still, but it's just got, it would make it airy. Needle. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that would be good for this sweater. So beautiful. It's I'm going to make that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. What a gorgeous sweater. Oh my God. What else do we have? What else? That's, I don't know. I think that's it, that's it right? We're good. And we'll go live if something new comes out. Yeah. It comes in. Is maybe anything FedEx. coming? Well, I'm waiting for the books. Okay. 
books. They ship Saturday. I hope they come. Oh, so. well, maybe we'll get them. Maybe we'll get them. FedEx usually comes like lunchtime or something. And it's early. We have to order a lot of lunch. It's Panera. Panera, it's her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to sing happy birthday. We got gluten-free. I got gluten-free cupcakes. Oh, the books so, came The books right are now. here. Wait, can we get the door for him? <gasps> the books are here. The books are here. Yay! Oh, wait. Wait. I can't get up. Come here, Ruby. Sorry. Come here, Ruby girl. Thank you. You could just put them here. Heavy, it says, right? Three bo three boxes. Okay. Yeah, it's all Thank books. Thank you. Oh my God. Should we get it? We've got to open one. We're going to open one live. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do we need to sign anything? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Alana. Thank you, Alana. Thank you. Alana. Thank you. <gasps> super, super excited. The birthday girl wished for the books. That Come was here, lucky. Ruby. Okay, so we're going to open. We got like 78 or 80, and I know there's enough, but we're going to have to separate our customers first. And um, so, so don't call us. We'll don't call us. Show. We'll call you. <laughs> okay, so that's going to take a while, and we're going to order lunch. And I did get gluten free cupcakes, so everybody can have one. Yay! Karen. So okay, happy. what are you saying? You. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, the books. Can I have one? I need to smell it, right? Yes, we need to do our smelling we books. Need to smell. The smelling of the books ritual. Oh God, look. See <laughs> what happens when you have fingernails? I just went like that with the cellophane. Shawl evolution. <gasps> I'm really into the photography in this book. Oh, you know look who at the these. Look okay. at this. Okay. You want to know Hi, who the photographer is? Look how thick this book is. His assistant, Matilda, her husband. They changed the book. The book is oh smells different now. Oh my God. Look. Wow. wow. Is that Steven? No. Those are his, look. That's, oh, that's this guy. guy. Look. Oh my God, this is the show I want to do, Alana. Ooh. <gasps> oh, smell the book. Oh, this is the one I want to do. Oh the God. wiggle. I don't remember what it's called. Here, I gotta look the at back. it. So these Wavy are all the wiggles. Look, Alana, there. Look. That's the one. Oh my God. <gasps> Rockefeller. Look. There are some new ones and some oldies. oldies I like um, right? Chrysler. Oh yes, Gregory. Gregory, our, our friend Gregory. <laughs> look. This is Jimmy Kim. Yellow, I think. Knits or something. His friend. That Kim is it? yellow. Yeah. And he, he's an opera singer. He is? He's an opera singer. There's some talented people, <gasps> man. Look, Marled Magic Mania. I have that one. I like this one. What's everybody saying? The s -gen is on my list, Joey yes. said. Yeah, anyway, guys, smell the book. Can I don't know if it's it? called s -gen, But it doesn't smell oh, the see? same. It smells different this time. They it's use okay. a different paper. <laughs> it's so beautiful, this book. All right, Ruby, I'm going to feed you. We're going to put these books in the system. Right? Here's here's Chrysler. Chrysler. Look at that. All right, Ruby, I'm going to take you out and we're going to order lunch. Yeah. Panera time. <laughs> and um, we have Not to sponsored. <laughs> Unless you want to, Panera. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for wishing a lot. Or happy birthday. Thank you. <coughs> and I'm coughing. Thank you, Barbara. Thank Bye. you, everybody. Bye. Thank you. <coughs>